Hey guys, it's Maxi, and this is a thought process behind how a Radiant Raze player thinks. To start things off, I trade my teammate here, who falls to the guy who's doing his best killjoy turret impression. I quickly satchel on top of tube to attempt to help my viper fight, since going off my teammate's callouts, the enemy is getting really aggressive. I know where the stage is, so I quickly peek before his teammates can get in a position to help him, and as soon as I kill him, I instantly move out so I don't get traded. And the same equalizing principle applies to the jet. I instantly peek to try to force this 1v1. Now 1v4 is a 1v2. Oh my god, if you win this, I'll give you my snapchat. Okay. Got you. Got you, brother. That was good. That's good. So with that juicy incentive in play, it's time to get this bread. I glance at the last two agents I'm up against and realize that their post bounty utility is really strong, so I gamble that they're playing off site. I instantly tap the bomb to force them to react and I try to capitalize on that. I caught them with their pants down and now I have them cowering in fear. So now all that there is to do is to whip out the party. Oh my god, honey. Oh my god, you're getting nudes tonight. I'm getting in my best dress. A little bit more of a sound. I was like, he can't. This next clip, I'm going to be breaking down how you ice the game as Raze on Bind. I start off showers this round and use my Roomba to clear some space. I love taking control of showers as Raze since her kit is so strong for clearing space since she can practically initiate for herself. If I can, I love yeeting my nade in this little area because it's a common fallback position. Not only did applying heavy pressure showers make it easier for my teammates to scale up a short, but by using my nade to flush out bench, it causes the enemies to either push us or to fall back, in short, giving us control of a site. While well, my teammates in short only have to fight Cubby or U-Haul. Then right here I satchel up on top of these double boxes, try to peek over the smokes and watch the U-Haul walk in and get a cheeky pick. I pop my rocket for dramatic effect in hopes of the movie trailer clip, but I'm not that nice with it. I keep this bench off angle since I can see them walking in U-Haul. It's nice. So then I sit confidently on the bench, praying somebody makes my day and hand delivers me my ace. No, my ace, dude! That's just disrespectful. You f***ing scumbag! In this next clip, I completely dismantle and break down a crossfire setup in a 1v2 clutch, and I want to show you guys how I did it. <laughs> now I'm in a 1v2 clutch against their raise and their fade. So all players on the board are completely aware of each other's whereabouts. Usually I'd say I have a whole minute to work with, but since they know I'm in hookah, they're probably getting down bomb as we speak. Instead of getting sneaky beaky, I try to probe and bait out swings before they can set up a crossfire, but to no avail. They play pretty disciplined actually, I respect it. After enough audio cues of me jumping and faking and spamming, I pretty much conditioned them to after when I did jump down and when I masked the noise with my shot, it probably flew under their radar. Now at this point, after enough experience, I know that in 1v2 scenarios, a lot of people in this game try to tend to play off contact. So since a guy on site is playing extremely conservative, that leads me to peek long and I take out the contact and instantly turn around for the guy whose job it is to trade. And just like my average Friday night, I take two guys on at the same time and steal some little twerps RR. So this next clip is pure dominance. We're gonna watch it and then talk about it. So I got an ace while getting a reaction from a woman that people who use judges will never hear in their lives. I seem that my sub is ulting and nobody's in the vicinity to really protect them. I let them know that I'm holding him just in case if somebody wants to make a psycho hero play and that's exactly what this jet does. Communication will always be key in Valorant. For example, me letting him know that I got him could be the very difference between a pick on his solo ultimate or a whiff. I reassure him to ease his mind and our confidence in each other grows. Since they've had control of sight for a good minute, I line up and toss my nade more or less default. If he's close to planting the spike, my grenade gives him a tough decision. Commit the plant and sacrifice himself or run the risk of further delay. He lays it all down for his team, but sadly, they don't reciprocate. As an insurance policy, just in case if he stopped a plant or had protective gear on or something, I toss my Roomba to sandwich them between a rock and a robot. I can always trust my little bro to finish them dudes off. After that, I saw that Soba darted back sight from jail. I know exactly where he's at, but I have plenty of time to work with in this 1v1. I use patience as my choice of weapon, and I just hold for the rap as he walks directly into my crosshair. 
In this next clip, I want to break down the importance of gating space as a duelist. If you're going to remember one thing from this video, remember this. Map control is information, and information is security. So here I attempt to enter with my rocket towards this orange area, but the enemy play retake and they scatter like flies. But this leaves me with an even greater reward complete control of mid. So if they want to retake B site, they're going to have to deal with a thorn in the side who's ready to blow out their flank. Yeah, yeah, no, no, where, no, where, 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 where? I knew it, I knew it. Mid, where? mid. Dude, this guy's cape. I'm behind him. After I get that pick right there, the cat's out of the bag, so no need for me to be sneaky beaky anymore since I have plenty of util that can be a nuisance to them. Yeah. Loosen up. Ah. Right. I'm right clicking. He pushed. Push out. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways, now here are some cool judge clips. Inside, right, guys? Yeah, absolutely fucking. Oh, Could be hookah. Greatest thing in the world. Yep. They can't stop me. No, they went wide on me. Breeze is on top of a uh, nest. I was dead. On my way, man. On one twenty, so the fam, you got that easy money. It's those two again. Oh hell! Top me on him. Let's get in the corner. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the damn baiters on this thing. Shit. I can plant it. One enemy remaining. Whoa. Ooh. 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 You know what I do, me? I think maybe you want me to drop them off. Ooh, that smoke is awful. Come on, dude. One bow ace, one bow ace. Last year we're being main. You wanna go get it? Let's go. Hey, you can bait me if you want. Satchel out. Satchel out. One enemy remaining. Oh. Spike down B. <laughs> yeah, next ace max is good shit. That shit suck, they have pistols. It's okay. Oh, they don't have to know. This is today's code word for a chance of free coaching. I used to love